In this video, we will go over a live demo of exchanging and staking dots on Ledger Lab app. This video is divided into three parts. In the first part, I'm going to show you how to create a Polkadot account on Ledger Live. Uh, in the second part, I'm going to show you how to send and receive dots. And finally, I'm going to demonstrate how to stake and unstake dots. First things first, make sure both the Ledger Live app and your Ledger device are up to date by installing the required updates. Under the menu, go to Manager and install Polkadot app from the catalog if you have not done that already. Now let us add a new account to Polkadot and make some transactions. You could add the new account from here or navigate to the Accounts tab under the menu to do so. As you can see, this Ledger device already has two accounts created from demos that we created previously. Anyways, let me create a new account for this demo uh, by clicking on Add Account button right there. Now choose Polkadot, open Polkadot app on your device and approve, and then name the account right here. This account name is stored locally on the Ledger device and can be changed at any time through account settings. There you go, we have a Polkadot account set up with a balance of zero dots. Ledger Live app may allow you to buy dots directly depending on your geographic location. If you already have dots elsewhere, you can receive them here in this account by following few steps. Click on the receive button right there, select the account to credit. The receiving address will be displayed on your ledger device. Verify if it matches with the one shown on the screen. You can also access the QR code for this address if you'd like to, or simply copy the address to clipboard and share it with anyone who would want to send DOT tokens for you. I will briefly show you how to send DOTs from the accounts on your ledger. Once you have the recipient's account address, navigate to the account, click on Manage, and then click on Send. Paste the recipient's address, enter the dot balance to send, verify the summary, and then approve the transaction on your Ledger device. The dots will now be sent to that address. One important thing to note here is that the account balance should always be greater than the existential deposit. In Polkadot, the existential deposit is one dot. Any account with balance lesser than the existential deposit will be reaped by the network. So if you are sending dots to an account with zero balance, send at least one dot, okay? All right, now I'm going to demonstrate how to stake dots on Ledger Live. I need to add a disclaimer here. When recording this video, the minimum number of dots required to become a nominator on Polkadot is 80. Currently, there is an active referendum to increase this to 120 dots. This is to ensure the supported number of nominators on Polkadot does not get maxed out. If you are affected by this change, please understand that this restriction is a temporary measure and the staking limit will be lowered significantly after the fix is deployed in a couple of months. If you are interested in the technical specifics, the link to the GitHub issue is posted in the video description. All right, now let me get back to Ledger Live app. I transferred 100 dots to this latest demo account for demonstrating staking mechanism. Click on Manage and then click on Earn Rewards. Then enter the number of dots above the minimum. If you want your rewards to be bonded as well, you can select bonded balance right there. Then your bonded balance gets compounded with time and you can see significant gains over longer term. For this demo, I'm choosing to have the rewards added to available account balance. Um, all right, so next verify the summary and confirm the bonding transaction on your ledger device. Your dots are now successfully bonded. All right, 
After bonding dots, the next step is to nominate them. Polkadot implements nominated proof of staking where you're allowed to nominate up to 16 validators. If you are a beginner and have no clue who to nominate, please look into the nominators wiki and support guides posted in the video description. For this demo, I will quickly go to Polkadot.js apps to retrieve the list of validators who are accepting nominations. By default, this list is sorted based on the expected return. Just for the sake of this demo, I will select the top three validators in this list, copy over their addresses to, to Ledger Live, and select their entries right there. Cool. Uh, once again, remember that you have an option to nominate up to 16 validators, which maximizes the probability of receiving rewards in every era of Polkadot. All right, three days later, I see that I earned rewards in each era, which are getting added to my account balance. I can also see the validator I'm currently staking in this particular era. Now I will show you how to unstake your dots. First, you have to clear all of your nominations, right? So to do that, click on manage, manage assets, clear nominations, and then approve the transaction on your ledger device. Once the transaction goes through, you can unbond your dots. To do that, you click on manage assets again and click on unbond, enter the number of dots you would like to unbond, and then approve the transaction. Currently on Polkadot, the unbonding period is 28 days. After 28 days, you can withdraw the unbonded dots into your account and do transactions. So for that, you have to click on that withdraw button right there. Hope this video was useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them uh, below the video. Thank you.